have you ever tried to learn a language? Has anyone ever told you you need to immerse yourself in it? You need to surround yourself with the language? Well, what if you can immerse yourself in it in virtual reality? Just trying to go to uh, a different country where you can't speak the language is kind of scary, right? What if you can immerse yourself in it in virtual reality? Do all the great learning, but without that fear of embarrassment or can I even like find a place for the night? It, everything's sort of contextually fixed. Everything sticks in your brain that bit harder. The moment when we actually got to put the headset on for me was when it kind of all clicked. It, it really made sense to me. It's, it's very strange because what, what I'm used to is everything is kind of on schedule, whereas this, it's been a little bit more ad hoc, but it's been definitely I think empowering in that sense where we've had the freedom to, to work together and kind of do our own thing. Sarah I think was the first person to sign up. We also had Wayne in New Zealand, another Matthew in, uh, in Redmond, Martin in Germany as well. It's been really surprising but in a really great way the, the interest we've had from so many different places. I'm in a way like the ideal user of this project's output. I just recently moved to Montreal so looking at this one it just felt like there was more that I could contribute to this one. I'm pretty interested in how we can use like apps to help educate people or just help people experience things like being in a cafe or being immersed in someone's culture. And as soon as Alex explained this project in the garage here in Vancouver, it was just totally the project I wanted to work on. I've never really used Unity or build Unity and things like that, so it was an opportunity for me to learn that. I could also help you guys with like the language content and things like that. So I think there was a lot for me just to go through and help the team with what I could. What I I wanted to take out of this, I wanted to assess how easy would it be and how to inspire like right, uh, traditional like designers to prototype in, in actual like in 3D and using the engine. And what was cool about like doing this project is those tools are already there. You didn't, I didn't even like have to code anything. It just it's basically just a mix and match of features and tools and, and visuals. And that's what I really like about this project. I think Hackathon is it's fantastic to bring people together from different backgrounds. I've been surrounded with people who I would never have an opportunity to work with before. So yeah, simply just walking down the street and meeting people and getting to work with you guys and like be learning from you guys, I think that's huge for me. It's something that I'd like to see more of. My day to day is in sales, so <laughs> I like all these tools that we've been using, like VSTS for this project and stuff, like these are the demos that I'm giving customers. It's been a, a really cool kind of context flip to be able to just step into the other side for a week. Just think like day one when Stacy was up talking, I think that's something that got me super motivated. Well, I think it comes back to our whole conversation before of like why we're all part of this project, right? It's like VR has been there, you know, for a while now and we've all, you know, been in these roles for a while, but it's like having that specific use case that resonates with each of us that makes us want to build for it. So I think it's, it's that, right? Like finding like the people that are passionate about different things and bringing them to this, like, showing them what's possible. Yeah. It really has sort of broken out a, a whole bunch of barriers which uh, don't necessarily exist, but maybe just mentally sort of in the way.